Welcome everybody. So I hope that you're doing well. And today we'll be continuing computer graphics, and we'll be today learning direct view storage tube or DVST. So basically, it is an alternative method for maintaining the screen image information without like refreshing the image or screen. So a DVST stores picture information as a charge distribution behind this phosphorus coated screen. So you can see the screen behind this. There is a collector there where the charge is stored. There are two guns used for in DVST. One is a primary gun. So this primary gun is used to store the picture pattern. So picture pattern is stored in the primary gun, and the flood gun is used for maintaining the picture display. So this is used for picture display. Okay. So basically, uh, the, so there are some points that are important in DVST. So a slow-moving electron beam draws a line. So draws a line on the screen. Screen has a storage mesh in which the phosphorus is embedded. So this storage grid and collector. Image is stored as distribution of charge. We have already seen that. Limited interactive support is there. So the DVST. Has both advantages and disadvantages compared to the CRT. So similar to standard CRT, except image is stored as a function of charge inside the screen. So let us see some advantages. I have written only one, and the rest I will tell. So no read, no constant refreshing is required, and it has a flat screen. So flat screen is present in CRT. We had a curve, so flat screen is there, and. Complex pictures can be displayed at a very high resolution without flickering because the refreshing is not required. So complex image can be displayed at high resolution. That is advantages. And let us see some disadvantages. So the most like the performance is very low because there is no concept of refreshing. So performance is low. Okay. And DVST does not display the colors and selected parts of the pictures cannot be erased. Suppose in we have to like erase only some part, like something is drawn and we have to erase this part only. So it cannot be done. Partial erasing cannot be done. And erasing is not easy because it requires the removal of the storage grid, and that is not possible. And it produces relatively poor contrast and gradual degradation of picture quality. And we have also written that to update any part of image, we need to redraw it. So this is also a disadvantage. So I hope you liked the video. And this was all about direct view storage tube. So if you liked it, so hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. So thanks for watching it.